Hello, Internet. So this is going to be a different kind of video. This is going to be a video of me talking about my home studio and how I record my songs. We live in this glorious time where we have all the information of the world in the palm of our hands. And honestly, I learned most of the things I know about production from the Internet. So I just think it's time for me to contribute and share some of the things I learned with you guys. So if you're getting into recording, if you want to start producing your songs, hopefully you'll find this guide useful. So here we go. There are five things you need to start a home studio. And these are very basic things that I think all home studios should definitely have. So here are the five things you'll need. One, a computer, <laughs> obviously. Two, a DAW. Three, a large diaphragm condenser microphone. Now, bear with me, I'll explain each of these later on. Four, an audio interface. And five, headphones and speakers. Okay, so you need a computer. But Lucy, should I buy a Mac or a PC? I'm gonna be very diplomatic and say both are great. And it's the truth, okay? I'm not biased at all. Just get something with good RAM and CPU and you will be fine. To be honest, you might not even need to buy a computer for this. Use what you already have. The computer you already have is probably great to get you started. So next up, you need a DAW and that stands for Digital Audio Workstation. This is just the software, the application that you will use to record your tracks, arrange your tracks, mix and master your tracks. This is where the magic happens, okay? So there are lots of DAWs available on the market. I personally use Logic, so you should do your research on them. There are a few differences and see which one is best for you and your musical needs. So next, you will also need an audio interface. And what that is, is basically a box that will convert a real life audio signal into a digital audio signal, which you can then work with. So there are many types of audio interfaces available. I personally own a few of them. They're all great. The one that I'm currently using and loving is the Soundcraft Notepad 8FX. This interface has incredible quality. You can record multiple instruments at the same time, each with a dedicated EQ and volume control. And it comes with some very cool lexicon effects like chorus and reverb. So I'm loving it. Okay, now that you have your audio interface, you need a microphone to plug into it. I would recommend you get a large diaphragm condenser microphone. So if you don't know what that is, it's totally fine. Microphones are divided basically into two separate categories. There are condenser microphones, which are studio microphones. They have high frequency response. They're very sensitive. And then there are dynamic microphones, which are more rugged. They're good for live performances. They're more resistant. The one I'm currently using is the AKG C214. It's actually this microphone over here. I'm not sure if the camera is catching it, but yeah. So you're hearing my voice through it right now. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. Okay, enough with the demos, let's move on. So let me preface this by telling you microphones are a very personal thing. The microphone that works for your friend might not work for you. For example, story time. There is this microphone called the Neumann U87. It's an industry standard. Every studio loves this microphone. It's an incredible microphone. And when I tested it, when I recorded into it, I didn't really like the sound of my voice through that microphone. So. So microphones are a very personal thing. AKG has amazing microphones. I love their microphones on my voice. They sent me this one a while back and I've been using it ever since. I love it and I recommend it. By the way, I'm linking all the products I'm mentioning in the description. So yeah, what's the fifth thing you need? Oh yeah, monitors and speakers. Okay, so that's very self-explanatory. You need to hear what you're recording. So I've been using these AKG K92s. They have a very clean sound, which I like. They're closed back. And for mixing and listening to my tracks out loud, I use these JBL monitors, which are amazing. I love them so much. Okay, so here's a tip for you. When you're mixing your song, listen to it also through just normal headphones. 
because this is where people will listen to your music most of the time. So if it sounds good on this, it's probably gonna sound good to most people. So yeah guys, these are the five basic things you need to start a home studio. There are also extra things you can add. You can see behind me, I have a MIDI controller, which I use all the time. So I would also recommend you invest in one of those. Um, of course, instruments, guitars, etc. But this is a second step. The things you really need are the five things I mentioned earlier. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I was able to clarify some of your doubts when it comes to setting up a home studio. And keep creating, keep making music. We live in a time where we have amazing hardware and software available for a very accessible price. And we can produce amazing stuff from our bedroom. So yeah guys, catch you later. I really hope I didn't bore you to death if you made it this far. Congratulations and see you next time. Beijos.